A call today for better communication to resolve some of the contentious issues in Green Bay's Broadway district. It comes from a group appointed by the mayor that works with On Broadway Incorporated to use tax dollars to improve the Broadway district. The catalyst for the concern is the disclosure that Walmart has shown interest in buying a part of the old Larson Canning Company that On Broadway now owns. Fox 11's Bill Miston has been on the story again today, joins us live from the district. Bill, bring us up to date. Tom, back in 2007, you may know that the city loaned on Broadway Incorporated $3.5 million to purchase the property, a portion of which is behind me right here. That loan is coming due in about eight months. Green Bay Mayor Jim Schmidt has said he's opposed to the construction of a Walmart Supercenter here in the district and again made his position clear at the Business Improvement District's board meeting this morning. Also again calling for a change in on-Broadway leadership. Tonight, we have multiple views. Everybody was caught a little bit off guard with this thing. Ray Salter, the chair of the Improvement District Board, says last week's letter of no confidence by 18 Broadway businesses in on-Broadway Incorporated leadership only worsen the situation. And that was then transposed into the fact that we were all anti-Walmart, anti-this, anti-that. Salter doesn't deny some businesses in the district are displeased with On Broadway, but says Walmart brought it to a head. This particular alliance has been unhappy with the way On Broadway has been operating for probably the last six months to a year. This disconnect, we have to just figure this out. You know, I think they're a change in leadership would, there's a time to look at that. The mayor claims on Broadway's executive director, Chris Nauman, has been unreachable to both him and Broadway business owners. Also, Schmidt says Nauman isn't telling the full story behind the Walmart discussions and that Walmart isn't the best fit. We want to help and we think that could be developed into something different than a one-story big box. But that's I'm just the mayor. It did break publicly, and obviously there's been some backlash. But Nauman says nothing has been decided for sure, and that his group is now waiting to hear back from Walmart. But at this point in time, it's purely a land option. It's purely a window of opportunity for, Broadway, or for uh, Walmart to do their due diligence and for them to come back to the Larson Governing Board and say, we're either interested and want to pursue forward, and here's our proposal, or no thank you. Nauman says any type of proposal would be put before the public for discussion if and when if and when that plan is brought forward. The expectation is that will be in about 45 days. Tom. Bill, question before we go, is there any idea what Walmart might propose? We're not sure what they're specifically planning or what they're doing as far as Green Bay is concerned, but what we do know is that yesterday in New York City, Walmart's president and CEO at a retailing conference did detail the company is going to be building more of its smaller neighborhood markets in the United States in the coming year. Whether or not that's going to be an option for here in Green Bay, we'll have to wait and see. All right, Bill, thanks very much for the update.